when it comes to being able to be grounded, being someone that guys always beg to be like in the community. They're like, you know what? I just want to learn from the guy that's grounded. I just want to be the guy that's grounded. What does it mean to be grounded as a man? What it really means to be grounded is being heavy underneath. And one time I heard uh, Tyler from RSD talk about, you know, this was years ago. He talks about being grounded and in your feet and being not moved. And for a while I was like, yeah, that, that really what it seems to be grounded. And it's a lot of truth to that. But also another truth I found to that is when you're being grounded underneath, which, is mean, which means when your breath is low, when your awareness is low, in your feet, in your pelvic floor, when you are completely aware of where you are inside and low, you feel grounded. So the key to being grounded as a man is breath. This is the key to being grounded. One of the things that I always hear guys talk about when it comes to being grounded is How can I be more You know unmoved how can I be somebody that's clear on what I want And not be moved Breath is what grounds you And not being moved and what you want Breath is the most important tool, I think, for any man to learn. He needs to learn what it means to be fully in his breath and fully low in his awareness. Because once you move your awareness from your mind, where it starts to get scattered, because once your awareness is up here, well, most people live, 99% of people, this is when you are just reacting to everything that's around you. But when your awareness is low in your body, when it's in your feet, when it's in your pelvic floor, this is how someone feels completely grounded, present, at ease, and when you're grounded and present and at ease, you're the most powerful that you are too. Because being someone that's low with your awareness allows you to be unmoved. It gives you the internal stability and in the home inside where no matter what happens, you feel completely at one with it. You can feel your feet hitting the ground when you walk. You feel your toes touching the front of your shoe. You feel the clothes against your skin. You feel your whole area, your whole genital area. You just feel everything below. And even when we're in meditation on workshop, I go up to students and if I'm doing meditation with them, in the small amount of times that I do, I'm doing things to them to let them see are they actually grounded. So I might go up to them, I might move them on one side, I might push them forward, I might bring them back towards me. And as I'm doing this, I'm giving him the chance to see within his body, is he actually grounded? And when he's fully grounded, he'll feel that no matter whichever way he's pushed, no matter whichever way he's trying to be moved, inside he's not moved. And this is what the feminine loves. The feminine loves, or women love, when you are completely grounded in who you are. And you're grounded inside, which means that you're unmoved by her test, you're unmoved by her uh, fleeting emotions, you're unmoved by all with the chaos of the feminine. 
And as a man stays grounded inside and as he stays low in his awareness, he takes up the power of the environment. He starts to flow with the aura. And the aura that he flows with, that is the aura that draws people in. Because he's not worried about what's happening around him. He's just completely low in his awareness. So as a man stands there, and he's in front of anybody, he's in front of a woman, he's in front of a guy, one of the things will start to happen. The chaos of the feminine will start to move him. He'll start to shift him this way, they'll start to shift him that way. And this is not a physical thing. This is all an internal thing when it first comes to breath. It is all internal. Because as you're moving your awareness, you're learning how to sit in your core. You're learning how to sit below so that your feet feel completely planted in the ground because of your breath. Your awareness is low. Your awareness is bottom heavy. You feel like everything up here is light and everything down here is heavy. You're sitting basically in your pelvic floor because that's really below in your gut to your pelvic floor. That's really where your power comes from. That's where your ability to express your sexuality comes from. It comes from the place that's below and that's very, very... unmoving. There's an unmoving part about everybody. And as people sit in the unmoving part about themselves, this is when they're really sitting in the masculine. And as they sit in that part of themselves with their breath, which is, which is what allows you to get there is abdominal breathing. Much like a baby breathes. The way you used to breathe before you started to get all this, this chaoticness inside of you. The start of the thinking. When you were, were you know, seven years old and you were just flowing and just being, this is when you were bottom heavy. And this is why you were shining because when people become bottom heavy, they start to shine. And this thing that happen when people start dancing because when you're dancing, you are actually the feminine and the masculine together because inside you become still because you become so present to what you do, but you're always flowing with everything you feel so the feminine is there. So when you're a person that's completely in your breath and you're low and your abdominal breathing and you're breathing in your pelvic floor, this is when you can start to bring in bodily relaxation. Now this one is physically because although it starts with your breath, your breath allows you to find the tension in your body. And as you find the tension in your body, you can begin to relax it. So if I'm standing here like this, and I don't know that, a lot of times it's because almost every time I would know this, it's because I'm not full in my breath. If I'm not low and breathing full into my core, then I will just stay up here in my shoulders. But the moment that I can get my breath, I can feel my shoulders start to relax. This is one of the important parts about being a man who's grounded is that you're finding a bodily relaxation. You're relaxing yourself bodily because in the bodily relaxation, this is where you can really start to connect with a woman or connect with the feminine. Uh, whether it be the, the world at large or whether it be um, any situation you're in that, that requires you to be uh, really soft, you start to be able to connect to it. A man, able, a man that's being able to connect to a woman, he's in relaxation. Because relaxation, I mean, because connection can happen without relaxation. And guys go, how do I have a connection with a woman? You must first be bodily relaxed. Your breath is the thing that's going to relax you first, and then bodily you start to relax. Because connection can happen in tension. Tension is the thing that takes us away from relaxation. And that's because you have this, uh, this thought of, what if I do this, and you know, wish you liked me this way, and, 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 and what if I fuck this up? But the moment all that relaxes, that's when a true connection can be built. And this is where you really feel a connection, because connection is energetic. Everything happens underneath with connection.
Because a lot of guys think that you can just go up and just ask the questions and then connection will come. No, connection is energetic because you can ask questions to get to know a woman, but if the energy is not there, you completely have not made an emotional connection. You completely haven't. And I'll make a video on this because I've come to this great insight recently that connection is underneath and it's in you people can have connection without even saying words. So bodily relaxation is the next thing. Once you bodily relaxing and you're on your breath, now you can really start to connect with what it is that you want. <clears throat> because what it is that you want is so deep inside of you, it's so grounded in, in, in inside of your core that if you can connect to that through bodily relaxation, through being able to come to your breath, this is the thing that's gonna allow you to have intention when you go wanna when you wanna go meet a woman. A lot of times a guy can't be really know and be f completely grounded in what he wants if he's not bodily relaxed. If he's not somebody who is in his breath because remember your breath is a thing that brings you to knowing where the tension is in your body. So when you know where the tension is in your body, you can relax completely or whatever it is. Where your heart is racing, that's tension. You can breathe and start to relax that because you can feel that as something that's blocking connection or blocking your experience with the feminine. And as you get in your body and you start to bodily relax, you start to feel yourself naturally ground and become centered. And as you're centered in your breath, you can really start to connect to what it is that you want in that moment. And once you connect to what it is that you want in that moment, it's important that you remain unmoved. As you remain unmoved, this is the thing that's going to allow a woman to trust you. This is the thing that's going to be able to give you the clarity and the power that you need to get whatever it is that you want. But it's important for you, if you want to be able to embody the masculine energy, to understand that breath is the anchor. It really is. If you can allow yourself to be in breath, which is, if you can allow yourself to have the in breath, which is the inhale, and the out and the exhale, if you can do these things and be completely low in your body with your awareness, meaning putting your awareness in your pelvic floor, put it in, putting it in your abdominal region, and even all the way down in your feet, if you can do that, you will start to feel true power. You'll start to feel true uh, desire to want to fuck, true desire to want to do something that is that you want. And you'll feel yourself being unmoved in that. And that unmovingness that you feel inside, that is the thing that's going to give you the power that you've always been looking for. Men are constantly searching for, how can I be somebody who has power? How can I be somebody who really gets what they want? You need to first relax into your desire for what it is that you want and then move towards that thing in my other video and call it intention. And once you move toward it, you can't, you can't really be moved because if something comes in and it makes you tense, if you can come back to your breath, you'll start to bodily relax. And as you bodily relax, you'll start to feel more into your desire for what you want and that's how you start to feel unmoved. And with all that together, that makes the great combination of a man that's grounded. But it all stems from, are you aware of your breath? Can you be somebody that can be aware of their breath, bodily relax, put your awareness low, and be unmoved? This is true groundedness. And as you, as you start to do this more and more throughout the day, most of my day is 80% like this. So 80% of the day I'm walking around like this because I've done it so much and, I'll, and then it'll, that percentage will go up more and more over the years. I literally walk around all day like that. And that is a thing where I know that, yeah, I'm being grounded but at the same time when I'm like that, I'm able to see life with a beauty that I've never seen it before. The feminine becomes be more beautiful to me. When I'm in front of a woman and I grab her and I'm looking at her uh, up close, I really feel the true desire flooding through me because I'm so used to being low in my awareness that I can sit in my core, I can sit in my pelvic floor, I can sit down there and I can feel everything that's coming. In the moments, like the other day, I'm in the bed with, uh, with the girl that I love right now, I'm in the bed with her and then she gets angry and she goes through these emotions and then um, her arms are like this and I just hold her arms down in bed and I go do something. And I'm feeling myself filling into my power and she goes eh, and she's struggling and I go do something and I can feel her really being angry and I know that the underlying thing for me is love and I'm so grounded in that I don't care what the fuck you do love is the thing that we're going to submit to 
and I'm, I'm holding her there and then she goes she starts I see tears coming in her eyes and then I say tell me you love me and then she's like no tell me you love me no and I go tell me say it and then she goes I love you and I start to relax to her arms because remember my intention is that moment and that moment is I don't care what happens inside of you love is what we'll submit to and we'll submit to and anything besides that I'll cut it out that's just the thing that I want to tell you guys but this is the thing that's going to allow you to feel grounded start with breath body to relax and then I trust me you'll feel grounded like I am now my intent is to teach you this and I'm grounded in that <clears throat> people are walking past they're snickling they're laughing and stuff like that but my intention is to teach you this so I know that that is the of importance right now so I can't be moved in that it may be a moment of temporary distraction but it's not enough to take me away from what I need to teach you that is my intent my intent is to teach you something my desire right now is that I want to teach you and I'm going to let that happen no matter what happens around me this is Sony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles, and you guys subscribe below The Essence of Solo. I'm in front of this beautiful building called the Parliament. <laughs> yes, I am. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't know when it's going to be. Hmm, probably tomorrow. All right, guys. I'm out.